This one needs absolutely zero introduction. to my channel thank you so much for joining me and um, so I'm back in the bedroom that can only mean collection videos so today I am back with my Chanel collection I put a poll on Instagram stories to see whether or not you guys wanted me to do an updated Chanel collection because the last one um, I filmed differently and it, it wasn't great so I'd asked did you guys want to get an updated Chanel collection and the response that I got to that Instagram poll was 98% yes we do um i also got a few messages saying absolutely yes we do bring us the chanel first that i have and i'm gonna do accessories um yeah accessories and things first and then we'll move into the handbags so the first that i have are these um beautiful chanel shoes now i previously had and i showed them in my last video but they were destroyed i had a pair of the chanel ballet flats in the nude and the black and i wore them till they literally were falling apart so i replaced them this summer with these and um, i decided to go for the bit of the heel because i am five foot one and a little bit of help um never goes amiss and um, they are the beautiful beautiful baby pink color and they have the black um fabric on the front of them i haven't had a chance to wear them anywhere yet they do have the little cc there as well just because i bought them in the summer and then obviously everything that's going on um but i am excited to wear them i'm hoping that i enjoy those and get as much wear out of those as i did with the ballet flats the only other pair of chanel shoes i have then um left that aren't destroyed are these and these were such a good buy last year these are the chanel espadrilles and i had meant to get the um, nude and black that's what I had had on my wish list and then because I am quite impulsive and because I get distracted by pretty colors I saw these with the beautiful teal tweed and metallic thread running through them and then the green sequenced on the front and I absolutely just fell for them and it was uh yeah had to happen and the uh <laughs> the beige and the nude ones are still on my wish list because I went ahead and bought those instead and then if we do um quickly my costume jewellery um because I do have this in another video but just um to show you the collection this is one of my brooches which I absolutely love this is one of my favorites I love that you can see through the perspex and then it has the blue and the pink dots on it um I did have to get the little pin replaced by Chanel because when I wore it um it would have just fallen off whatever I was wearing which is not not good at all at this type of price for costume jewellery but they did replace it um, and hopefully it's all going to be good now and then the next one I have these are in no particular order by the way um <laughs> I love this my husband this is the one that I was wearing not that long ago and my husband said are you wearing a badge I'm like go away just just leave the Chanel alone um, it is the emoji face. It does look a little bit like a badge, but I love it. I just think it's so fun. I see that in my head on a denim jacket with maybe three brooches kind of clustered. And I just, I really, really like that one because it's fun. I keep telling myself I'm going to buy one of the more formal, elegant CC, maybe diamond or pearl brooches. Um, and then I keep coming back with things like this. Um, <laughs> so this one is kind of pop art um, and I love it. It's the smaller of the two. There was a bigger one of this as well, but I absolutely love this one. Um, I did have one of the little uh, stones f fell out of this and I had to get it replaced by Chanel. So that is when you watch videos about Chanel costume jewelry, that's obviously one of the downsides when you're paying this sort of money and having to get pins replaced and stones replaced, but it hasn't, hasn't stopped me. Um, <laughs> that says more about me than it does about the Chanel jewellery. Um, hasn't stopped me. I still really, really enjoy it. Um, I try not to buy a huge amount of it, but um, okay. Next brooch is this. I love this. The glitter in this and then the rhinestones on the stars, if you can see them, just speak to me. This is just, yeah, this is just me. Um, I absolutely love this, but this is another one that the little bar, the pin on the back, had to be replaced by Chanel because it fell off as well. Um, which is not painting the best of pictures about Chanel's costume jewellery. Okay, next then I have... And just, um, sorry, we're still in lockdown, so ignore the grey hair and ignore the really bad nails. Next to show you are these little gold uh, plain CC studs. Well, they have Chanel engraved around them, but there's no stones or anything in them. I'm sorry, that's um, very, very hard to show. Um, maybe, let's, let's just pretend that 
that didn't happen. Um, luckily these ones have no stones in them when you're going to drop them on the floor like that. Uh, these are plain gold, have Chanel around them. I have been, I got these um, for my birthday last year and I've been wearing them so much. The reason I've been wearing them is because there aren't any stones or anything in them. So they're very easy to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. They're not just as, um, they're not just as striking, but you don't have the worry of the stones falling out as much, which I know we shouldn't have to worry about that, but it does happen. Um, I do have, though, I've been lucky, although I've had a lot of repairs to the brooches, I've been lucky with these earrings and I have the little CC Diamante ones. Um, I have had these for about four or five years and I've had no problems with them. Absolutely love them. I feel very glam and bling and wonderful when I wear them. I just, I think they're great. Um, but it, I have heard a lot of stories of people having them and the stones falling out. And then the last pair of Chanel earrings I have to show you are the Chanel, if I can shake them out. Um, I think these are fabulous. Now, I don't have, I have two young children, so I don't have lots and lots of very dressed up events to go to. If I had more, I would probably buy more long dangly. <laughs> There's one of person out there, Gwenny, that is going nuts at me right now. I know, I need, I still got to stop dropping the luxury. Um, but these Chanel ones I absolutely love. I feel again really fabulous when I wear them. I feel like they're a real statement and if we had didn't have the children so young and were gone out more and the world wasn't locked down I would probably um, be tempted to buy more dangly Chanel earrings because I do think that they just make me I know, I know they're a lot of money for costume jewellery but I just feel really good when I wear them. And then the last piece of Chanel costume jewellery I have is this necklace which are the faux pearls and they have the little white um, on both sides of the CC. So as if it turns around, you still see the white. And I generally wear these doubled up as a double string. Um, and I really, really like them. They're just lovely. And I know they're fashion jewellery, but I really enjoy them. And I think that um, as long as you know what you're going into, well then, you know, to each their own. And I enjoy my pieces. Um, the only Chanel scarf I have is this one um, and it has the Coco Neige on the other side. It's very, very soft. Um, it's very long. I love to wear it in the winter wrapped around me um, and it's very cosy. It's one of those scarves that you just feel like you want to snuggle up to and I just, yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, moving on to bags. Um, I tried to get through the accessories as quickly as possible because I know most people like to see the bag collections and I'm just going to pull these from behind me in absolutely no particular order. So the first one and one of my absolute favourites is this. <laughs> I love her. I love the colour of this bag. This is the 18B collection in the purple in the lambskin in the chevron printing with the light gold hardware. And this bag was a mission for me. I saw this bag on a few other YouTubers, Jerusha and Isabel, and I had to search it down because I just absolutely loved the colour. It's probably showing up a little more pinky on camera. Um, it's probably slightly more berry magenta colour, but I just, this is my colour. I absolutely fell in love with it and I had to find it. Um, I will actually, as we go along, any of these that I've bought pre-loved because I know I get quite a few messages from people asking where to buy Chanel pre-loved so I'll tell you where I've bought these. Um, this one was from the Persifair in Australia and I just absolutely love this little beauty. This colour is just makes my heart sing and this is my only Chanel bag in lambskin. I do love it. I feel it's very um, luxurious and soft and puffy. Um, the rest of mine, however, are caviar or a different fabric, but not lambskin, just really because of the durability and because um, of a lifestyle with two young boys that that probably works for me better, which is a complete juxtaposition as I pull out the tweed, which is of course very, very delicate. But this tweed, oh, absolutely love it. I didn't care how delicate this tweed was. I didn't care how practical this tweed was. When I saw her, she just had to come to the collection. She is absolutely stunning. If I try and show you up close, you can see the Chanel Coco Chanel ribbons that run through the tweed. Um, this bag is just absolutely stunning. When I wear this bag, the few times that we've had the opportunity to wear it, because obviously I bought this last year, this is the tweed mecta tweed rectangle mini from the 20s collection and 
the occasions that I've had to wear this bag, I feel fabulous. I just feel so happy wearing this bag. It's one of those bags that invokes joy whenever I wear it. And I've said before that that's something I'm trying to get better with in my collection, that I only keep bags across the board, all designers that make me feel like that. Because with this sort of money, that's what they should do. They should just, when you wear them, you should feel absolutely fabulous. Be it um, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Dior, whatever it is that you prefer, it should just make your heart sing. And that's what I am trying to focus on in my collection. Um, next for me is this little baby and she is also from the 18B collection. She is the raspberry. She was. She looks very red on camera but in real life she is much more raspberry. She is the raspberry rectangle mini in the traditional quilting with the silver hardware and I just love her. She is in caviar leather and she's one of those bags that's just, she just needs no introduction. She's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I have a thing for you. If this is your first time here, by the time we finish this, you'll get to the point where I have a thing for Chanel minis. I think they're fabulous. They are one of my absolute favourite bags. I like to wear bags cross body and that just works so well for me and I just love them. And if they keep bringing them out in all of these fabric and tweeds and beautiful colours and fabrics, I'm going to end up bankrupt. But anyway... Next. Oh, hello. Sorry, I did tell you that I was going to give you where I bought these from um, if it wasn't from the boutique. This I couldn't find from the boutique and I used a personal shopper, Marina Fashion Lover on um, Instagram, got me that one. And then this one I bought from Fashion File. Is that as much as I've got to yet? So as I did say that I would give you them because I know people are always looking for reputable sellers. This little baby, hello. I think she was the 18P collection, although don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. I always forget it with this one. This is the rolled up bucket bag in the small size um, in the caviar leather rolled up obviously because of this with this beautiful, beautiful jewellery like chain and it has this little top handle and then inside there is also a longer um, strap and chain that you can pull out to wear this bag either cross body or on your shoulder. Um, I saw this bag on Fashionably Amy's channel is the one that probably um, is to blame and to blame because obviously it's not my fault um, <laughs> and I just fell in love with it. I really 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 liked it. Out of all the other bucket bags I had seen this was just the shape that I really really wanted to try and get so the personal shopper on Instagram Lux Lover, although I think her account was shut down and it's Lux Lover too now. I asked her to try and find this for me. She is very good at finding unicorns. Um, and she tracked this down for me in brand new condition. It still had the tag attached, um, which the tags don't stay on in Europe. So that was actually very nice to come with the tag. And it was just, oh, love at first sight. I absolutely love this little baby. You'll get a recurring theme. I love, I think, all of my... Um, certainly Chanel bags. Uh, this money you would hope so but yes let's see where am I going next. Okay oh isn't she pretty. I just yeah she's just so pretty. This is the Chanel camera bag in the reissue si style reissue style camera bag in the crumpled calfskin leather in the Chanel charms collection. Just take a wee uh, the light's very bright to keep this room so as you can see but um, if you just can see those charms, she's absolutely stunning and she has the um, reissue type chain which is not only I think very attractive but very comfortable to wear because it sits flat on your shoulder I find anyway um, and she's very light but she packs a punch and I just love her and she is um, my only camera bag but definitely one that I enjoy very much and I bought her from Designer Wish Bags on Instagram um, who also do entropy certificates with all of their bags. So next up we'll go with this little beauty. Well, <laughs> wasn't she the belle of the ball last season? She just in the summer stormed social media. She just took it over and I at the start was a bit unaffected and a bit smug and uh, oh no I'm not too, no I'm not, I'm okay, I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> yeah. Then I went into the Dublin boutique and I saw her in person and she blew me away. 
Um, trying to bring her back just uh, with the light so as you can see but if I turn that light off you guys won't be able to see anything but she is just she has all of the colours she has purple and orange and turquoise blue and pink and more oh look at her um, she's also in the more at the side again she's just so lovely she's also in the reissue style so she has the reissue chains and what I like about the mini reissues is they have the four grommets at the top as opposed to two on the traditional mini and it means you can either put your bag down like this for crossbody or longer shoulder wear or you can double her up like this um, and I just like that it just gives that added little bit of flexibility on how you want to use her and it would allow if I take these bags out at night I would generally carry it like this and it just lets you have that option without having to play about with the chain inside the regular type so she's a beauty and um, she was bought direct from the boutique and I haven't had much huge amount to wear from of her yet just because of when I bought her it was in summer 2020 and well that says it all but I just think that she's stunning and that she is one that despite my initial skepticism when I saw the publicity shots she's one that I'm very very glad that I have in my collection next is my only Chanel boy bag. Now mine is a limited edition so it has this top handle. This is from the Chanel Paris Salzburg collection um, 2015 possibly. Um, she is the first Chanel bag that I ever bought. I um, told this story before, bought her when I probably couldn't be affording to buy uh, Chanel bags. She has the longer strap with the grey and burgundy leather piece um, for wearing crossbody or on your shoulder. And the quilting is double stitched and the has the, or she has, sorry, the um, burgundy braiding along the side and that goes around the back as well. I have been using this bag a little bit more recently. Um, she probably got knocked off her pedestal a little bit whenever I added a few more bags to my collection but I have been um, using her more and I just, I really enjoy her. I, I forget how much I enjoy her until I start to use her again. And yes, if you're wondering, I am saying her for um, practically all of my bags because I don't like to say it. Moving swiftly on before we dive deeper into that. Um, this is my Chanel classic flap in the black caviar leather in the silver hardware in the traditional um, quilting. And she's just, well, she needs no introduction. Sure she doesn't. She's a stunner. She's a classic Chanel flap. She is my only Chanel medium classic flap. I have, I did have one other. Uh, the purple that I showed at the start, the 18B purple, I had the exact same bag in the medium classic flap. That's how much I loved that colour. But um, I got a little bit of sense for a little minute and I sold the medium classic flap to buy the deep magenta pink Louis Vuitton capucines and um, so she's the only classic flap that I have left and I am very very glad that I bought her when I did because the prices of these just keep going up and up and up and she's such a classic bag she will be around forever she needs no introduction it's just one of those bags that I reckon that um, if everything goes according to plan I will still be wearing that bag in 20 years time and then what else is behind me sorry I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting this and I know that you guys get very interested in sell resellers or places that um, other people have trusted and bought Chanel bags from. Both the Chanel Boy and the Chanel Classic Flap came directly from the boutique and then that takes me to my absolutely beloved Chanel 19. Um, this is another bag that when she first was released and I saw the publicity shots for this bag I wasn't exactly um, sold or I wasn't to sure and then social media does what social media does and I was absolutely influenced on her but again don't regret it I love this bag I have a whole video on this bag on why it's so fabulous and um, I'll try and link it above in the i cards I wear this bag so much this bag can be worn so casually with so many different types of outfits it's such a good practical bag as well as being a fabulous piece of Chanel I really love it I love the mixed hardware I love the little um top handlebar here 
I just, I really, really love this bag and I bought this from a personal shopper on Instagram, Global Lux Closet. Okay, what have we got next? Um, I'm doing this quicker because I generally fall into the trap when I do collection videos that I give you mini reviews along with the collection video, which makes it ridiculously long. Um, and if you want a review, just leave me on anything, leave me a comment in the comment box and I can do a more detailed video. But this was really just to do an updated collection and the next one is this. And again, this is coming up a little bit um, brighter. I think it's because of the lights in the room. Um, this is more of a greeny, darker greeny teal colour. It's looking a little bit more like a bright bluey green on the screen there. Um, but it is the 18B collection again. That collection was very dual toned and dual colours and that's just that I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> I at one point had four bags from that collection. I now have three and I even feel smug because I went, I sold one, but I still have three from the same collection. Um, it is the mini rectangle in the turquoise color in the caviar in the light gold hardware. Um, I bought this bag. I had originally seen this bag in the medium size in Dublin. Absolutely loved it, couldn't afford it. Fast forward to when I had the money to buy it and again, from Lux Lover on um, Instagram I bought this bag from and I have absolutely no regrets. I wish I could get the colour to show you because it is slightly greener than that um, but it's just a great bag. Love it, love wearing it. It's one of those bags that I feel I can wear with so many things. Um, she's not limited at all and that's just a great thing when it comes to this price point. Okay, this one needs absolutely zero introduction. This is the... Um, and I'm just thinking that I might fill them in here more because this is really comfortable. <laughs> um, this is the, slightly off topic, 17B collection, the rose gold mini, the absolute unicorn rose gold mini. She's up there with the pearl bag, which I don't have in my collection. Um, she is the chevron print, which I really, really love in the caviar leather in the light gold hardware in the mini rectangle and it's the colours like she's showing up there she looks quite rose gold you can get her in some lights and she'll be throwing off pinks she'll be throwing off purples blues greens and this bag there is just such a demand for this bag every time this bag comes up on social media and um, there's a list of people it seems waiting to pick this bag up even though the prices on the resale market for this are now very very high and um, just a wee, wee, a wee, Irish, just a wee word of warning. Um, if you are looking for this bag, just be careful on Instagram. It's one of the bags that scammers seem to use quite a lot and say that they have. So if the price of it, the price is high. If the price of it looks too good to be true, just be cautious. And if it is a seller that you haven't heard mentioned by other people or you're not sure of, just do a bit of asking about and due diligence because I've seen this and the pearl bag offered by quite a few people that I don't actually think they have the bag to sell. So just be, ca be cautious there. I did buy mine from a reseller. I missed it when it first came out. I didn't really have the funds or the money for much Chanel at that time. So I bought this from Lux Lover on Instagram. Now, luckily I bought it, um, yes, through a reseller, but I bought it quite early. So luckily the price wasn't quite what it is now because the price now is very, very high. Um, I did pay a bit over retail, but not just as much. And I, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Again, it's another bag when I do use or I do wear, I feel pretty fab, which I think is can only be a good thing. Now, hello, lover. Um, I loves her. We have we have a long lasting relationship. We are you know committed committed for life. Um, I adore this bag, and if you've watched my other videos before, you'll know that because I talk about this bag, show this bag, rant and rave about this bag so much. It is the Chanel mini reissue from the Matriart collection in I think eighteen nineteen in the graffiti print, and mine is the iridescent. This also came in a gold graffiti print. Mine with my love of colour, I went for the iridescent where you can see the purple to the green and I could sit and turn this bag like this all day and look at those colours, um, but that would get kind of boring. Um, and I do have things to do, um, you know, like feed children and stuff. I think it might be frowned upon if I just left that all day. Um, so <laughs> she is the media or the mini reissue and she's just fabulous. This is another bag that I bought from Designer Wish Bags, um, another trusted seller that I have used on Instagram and she's absolutely one of my favourites. She is one of the bags that if I had to even dramatically cut my collection she would stay. She would absolutely make the cut. 
And yep, we're down to the last one if you've got this far. Thank you so much for staying for staying with me if I could speak. We've been here that long. Um and it is the mini Gabrielle. Hi. Hiya. I love her. Um, I became obsessed with this bag. Fashionably Amy has this bag um, and the CC Spy on Instagram who has a fabulous, fabulous uh, Chanel collection has this bag. Now they don't have the big tacky strap but I love the big tacky strap. You shocked when you're looking at all the other stuff with the colours. I love it. I just love the chain detail on it. I just love the fact that it says Chanel and it's in your face. Um, I just love it. Love it. Now it does add cost to the bag but um, I knew that going in. Even without the strap though, if I just move it out of the frame so as you can see the bag on its own, it's still a stunning bag. A lot of people would say it doesn't need the strap. The strap is removable so it doesn't have to be on there all the time. It is coming up slightly more red on camera than what it is in real life. It is a burgundy colour. It is the smallest of the Gabrielle. I favour mini bags. I will generally go for the smallest option that there is. Um, apart from those teeny tiny micro bags, I can't do that. Um, and she has the mixed hardware with all of the different colours. She is still wrapped around to the setting that I wear her at so as she sits at the level I like her to sit at crossbody and I think she's fabulous and this bag I bought directly from the boutique in Dublin. Um, it took a little bit of time to track this down. I got this bag last year and all of the um, deliveries have been up the left with everything that's going on in the world and she is just, yeah, I just love her too. Do you get, there's a theme, I love I love my Chanel bags, they make me generally very, very happy. I appreciate before anybody um, needs to tell me that I am very blessed to have the collection of them that I do have. It has taken a long time to get to this collection, I've said it in many videos. I am nearly 40 and I've been collecting handbags for the last 10 years and I've been working for lots and lots and lots of years. So it is not that this is something that happened overnight or that these were gifted to me. Well, that is us at the end. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching me talk about Chanel handbags and Chanel shoes and Chanel pretty jewellery. If you're in the Chanel fan club, love it. Yep, f fully paid up member. But I, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending some of your time with me. What is going on in the world at the minute is awful. It really, really is. This is escapism, but on a more serious note, I hope that you're okay. I hope that your family is good. I hope that it hasn't affected you too badly and that you're getting through and that you continue to get through. And I just wanted to say that. Thank you again for watching me and I will see you again in the next one.